Hey folks, welcome to Rexport Education. I'm Ryan Shanahan and today's episode is an unveiling. A little different than what I usually do. Rexport Education has classically been about a lot of different types of athletics and of course dance is a part of that, particularly ballroom dance. I've been teaching ballroom dance for about 15 years. Now I've always wanted a particular uh, type of, uh, of, of dance suit, you know, something that you can really move in, something designed for dance and for competitions. Could never really feel myself justifying the expense though. But next year, months from now, I have this uh, special event where my grandmother, who's just turned 90, is getting the whole family together for a reunion. We've never really done something quite like this before. Uh, it's going to be a big event, a lot of family, and there's going to be some, f uh, uh, some formal nights involved with this, and uh, I thought, well, I have the ability now, and why not? So I'll go ahead and splurge it. I went and I got myself a custom dance suit. Uh, so this is tailored just for me. Uh, I got it from a site called uh, Dance Shopper. You can kind of see the... Uh, logo there, Dance Shopper. Now I went with them because I, I looked around a lot and frankly the options for men's dance wear are abysmal. They're, there's just not a lot of options. The quality isn't that great. A lot of it's very generic, uh, very cookie cutter. Um, this one site had a particular suit I liked and they do do custom orders. And uh, they had a new a Latin, or uh, what was it? Uh, it was Italian uh, tailors. <clears throat> and so I thought I'd give it a try. So it's finally arrived. It took about a month. So let's have a look at what we've got from Dance Shopper, how it turned out. Very big box. <laughs> okay. Italy's modern masterpiece. Okay, we've got this little uh, card they sent with it, which doubles as a receipt. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Look at that. Sent it in a really nice custom suit bag. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Oh, there it is. Gorgeous. And we've got the slacks. Now, I wanted this to be uh, used uh, like a tuxedo as well, so I'll be able to use this for formal nights. Um, they did a great job. So they have a pocket square that's uh, they've sewn in, but it can be removed. It's only got a few uh, simple uh, stitches in there holding it in place. So I could remove it and change it out if I wanted to very easily. Buttons are very nicely done. Let's try it on, huh? And there we have it. What do you think of that, huh? Now, I've got to say, I really like this suit. I think it suits me pretty well. That's why I picked it, after all. Um, I couldn't find anything like this in, in, in many other places. I did quite an extensive search. Um, and, well, I went with this because, it, it's, frankly, it's the best. Now, there's a number of features with this suit, and I'd like to give it a, a quick review. So, let's look at it generally. This is cut to fit me directly. Now, I will say a couple of criticisms. It does feel a little bit tight in the arm. It is supposed to be fairly tight up there, but this is, feels maybe a little too tight, except um, 
uh, well, it does make me want to keep my shoulders back, and so that's really important for ballroom dancing. Uh, so there's that. But if I do let myself slouch a little bit, I do feel a little bit of pinching in there. Maybe that's actually a good thing because it will force you to keep that proper posture, those good alignments, uh, alignment points that you want to see. So uh, maybe not that good of a criticism after all. The other thing is possibly the length of the coat. Now this tends to sit right about the midpoint of my thumb knuckle right here. Now um, there's a lot of different design takes for suits and styles will mimic this where they'll, they'll either go the first knuckle, second knuckle, or just below the wrist. And this, these are common style trends to be aware of. Now for you might like something that's a little longer, but I'm already fairly long in the torso anyway. And so I kind of like something that uh, doesn't make me look so long and uh, um, accentuating those features on me. So I tend to go a little bit shorter. I might prefer something that's just about the second knuckle. I think that would look better. And I might consider taking that in. So that would look sort of like this. It'll sit about this level as opposed to this level. Hopefully you can see that pretty well. I really like the, the cuff here, um, how it's made to accentuate whatever kind of cufflinks you may be wearing. Unfortunately, the shirt that I'm wearing right now, although it is a ballroom dance shirt, it, uh, it isn't a French cut. So it doesn't have that double layer that allows you to put a cufflink in there. Um, and that's, uh, that's just that, this particular shirt. I could always get a different shirt. And I'll talk about the shirt in a little bit more. Let's look at the inside and what we've got. Okay, don't mind my mic, I've got on my tie right now. Uh, but um, one thing that I've always found odd about modern men's slacks, who went to be worn with a suit, is they put pockets in the back. It's very unnatural and un, uh, unsophisticated for today's style standards. There's no reason for you to be carrying something in your back pocket. And anyway, uh, it's, it's probably not good for you anyway. If, you're, if you're, well, you have a wallet back and you're sitting on it, it can cause problems with uh, your spinal alignment, your, your hip alignment, and, and cause you back pain. So there's really no reason to be having pockets that uh, affect the cut of your pants. It doesn't look good. It doesn't. It just doesn't. Stop doing it. Anyway, you have pockets in your coat. And so this is, this is double-breasted, and I have very nice pockets on either side. And this is a very nice uh, satin that they've used on the inner lining. Other things. Um, they did include an extra button for the, the second button. When this crosses over, there's a button in here. And this uh, button loop here that will hook on right there to that extra button on the inside. So you're, when I'm wearing this like so, sorry Mike, <laughs> like so, I have it buttoned on the inside and the outside. Um, also, there are these two features where this extra little elastic parts here that will hook onto the buttons of the pants, which will keep the jacket moving with the rest of the suit so that the pants and the jacket move together and it looks very nice. It keeps everything straight and it's wonderful. Now we'll move on to one other feature. When I take off this coat, just set this nicely over here and oh, I need my mic. There it is. Okay. All right. Well, I don't have pockets in my pants, so I can't. I've just got to hang on to this for now. But um, it, it comes with these built-in suspenders. They are built-in. They're, they're sewn in. Um, that's fine. So there's nothing wrong with having suspenders built into it. Uh, you would generally need to wear suspenders anyway. And at least this way, I'm not having to mess with clips that, again, could affect my lines. Um, it's, a, it's another feature that could um, pull off at any moment and uh, it, it could get in the way. It's, it's, not, it's not great to have. Now I'm wearing a, a simple black tie. I'll probably get a, a better one. This is a, a silken tie, but there are different styles as far as uh, the, the size or the width of your tie. And I might want one that's maybe a little bit uh, more slender. I went with a standard double Windsor and pinched it for a dimple in the middle. 
pretty standard, standard, straightforward. And that's really it for the suit. Let me talk briefly about this shirt. Now, this uh, particular shirt is a ballroom dance shirt. It's meant for practice wear. You can also use it for competitions. I got it specifically because of the cut. I love this cut and I couldn't find it anywhere else. This was from a different company, but I don't think that it's worth the price. It was about $100, that's fairly common for dance shirts, but um, in this case, the material they use, though it is very comfortable, it's very soft, it's, it's frankly too soft. Um, the first day I wore it, wore it for one day, with a tie, it started to get this uh, this fraying or this uh, ruffling of the material that's damaged the material just from the tag on the back of the tie. And frankly, I feel that that's uh, not acceptable. Uh, your dance material needs to be, have at least some toughness to it, some toughness, right? Um, I would be afraid to, to wash this. Um, I, I would have to wash this very carefully, very delicately. Um, probably by hand and air dried, um, which isn't a bad thing to do that to you, to have to do that to your clothes. I'm not complaining a, about that. I just, I, I don't think that it should be damaged after one use and uh, be afraid that uh, it'll become unusable after uh, three or four uses. I wouldn't be able to wear it again. Uh, I also didn't like the feature of the cuff, I thought that, uh, that that it actually came as a French cuff, but it but it didn't. Um, so that's a downside to it as well. I wanted it to be a French cuff. It wasn't. Not that big of a deal, um, as this type of cut is more common in America. But I like the French be cut better, and my new suit uh, has features that accent the French cuff and whatever cufflinks that you're wearing. So I wanted to be able to, to utilize that. Um, I will not be buying uh, this type of shirt again. Um, again, it's from a different company, not Dance Shopper. They did a, an amazing job. They just don't have this type of, this type. What I will probably do though, because I'm an innovative guy, is uh, I will take the, uh, the points on this and I will probably get my own material and I will just cut it myself and build my own shirts from now on using this as the template because I can do that and why not? Yeah, it'll save me a hundred bucks every time I get a new shirt. So I guess the, the one thing that I would say about that is be careful what, what kind of shirts you're getting. Make sure that they're a decent material. They should be comfortable. They should be uh, soft, silky, or uh, you know, pleasant to wear, kind of like wearing pajamas almost. Uh, but, they, but they shouldn't fall apart just because of a little bit of, uh, of friction be, uh, from, a, from a tag. Um, that's unacceptable. Now, one of the other things I'm a little bit critical of is the, the buttons used. Now, uh, the standard buttons that are actually used are just these two, but these other on the outside um, are meant as decoration. But they are built into the suit with the same functional features as the usable buttons. What I mean by that is you'll see that they're all sitting in different directions. Why? There's no, there's no reason for this at all. And as a result, these buttons, they sit all over the place and uh, they don't they maintain this uh, uh, straight, aesthetic, clean look. Uh, they look freaking all over the place. I don't know why tailors do this. It doesn't make sense to me, but it is a very common practice across the entire industry, no matter what country you're in. Um, but it looks crappy. So what I will probably do with these buttons is I will also remove them. I will remove the backing so that they're, they don't have this uh, you know, quarter inch gap between them and the suit and I will put them on in a way that allows them to sit straight, uh, maybe even flush with the suit, maybe not quite flush, but give them a little bit of movement. But I don't want them you know, sitting this far off of the suit so that they can wobble all over the place and look ridiculous. Now, beyond the quality of this suit, we should also talk about the cost. This, of course, was a custom tailored job. So anything like this, you can expect to pay over $1,000, which is actually pretty good, considering that women's dance dresses, their gowns, often cost many thousands of dollars. So um, it would be hard to find one, actually, in the $2,000 range. 
uh, expects to be upwards of uh, 4,000 on the low end. But I've seen uh, Dan's gallons as much as 10,000. I know that there are others out there that are far more. So to get a really nice dance suit for a, for a gentleman dancer is actually pretty easy to do. But anyway, folks, that's about all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. Maybe it was useful for you. If you'd like to check out some of Dance Shopper's products, I will put a link to their website below. You can contact their customer service for custom orders. They were excellent. I actually went back and forth with, uh, with somebody in their customer service department through several emails uh, because I'm super picky and uh, I'm, can, was a difficult customer. And they accommodated me the entire way. I have nothing but good things to say about them. And anyway, I'd love to hear your experiences. Please leave them in the comments section below. Tell me what you think about this suit or your own and where you like to go shopping for men's dance wear. And I will be back with you all next time.